if you're trying to learn wall walks i will explain everything in this video and if you want to be this guy who can kiss the wall also stick to the end of this i will explain every bit required so you can master this skill in no time so you start by keeping your feet close to the wall like in a plank positions like this and your shoulder and your hands and shoulder width apart okay so this is your first step and make sure to keep your body in a straight line like this so make sure not to arch of your lower back keep it like this all right or maybe a reverse arc like this if you put too much pressure on your back like this you'd not be able to do a wall walk it would be extremely stressful on your lower back so first thing back like this plank position shoulder width apart and start by keeping your feet close to the wall all right so this would be my prop wall for this exercise second step just make sure don't go too high okay because that may sound a bit daunting or challenging when you start initially so instead start one or two steps okay Let's try uh, to walk on the wall keep your body like this and walk like this a few times all right let's do this real few times one two three one two three all right keep it smooth not challenging and practice few times so even if you sleep you're in a safe position and chances of injury almost close to zero let's do it a few times one two three one two three very controlled no drama one two three so this time when you do try to hold okay and see how long can you hold so you have to keep your core engaged and shoulder locked like this also stick to the end of this video i will share your two most important exercise that you should also consider incorporating into this which will definitely help you to increase your overall core strength the third step now we will try to walk or climb up the wall as high as possible and in a controlled manner at the same time making sure our core and our upper body is properly locked like a shoulder okay like this all right so let's do that again basic i'll start from a plank position and try to go higher okay and this time i'll try to push my body at the same time i'll also take my hands one one leg and then one hand one two three four five all right and then climb down one two three four five so did you see that the progression i'm not trying to do extreme just trying to focus on my joints because the whole idea is to keep your body engaged and locked there is no scope to wobble your body otherwise you may slip so that's the one thing also make sure if you can keep a shoes in case you slip you would not injure your ankle or your feet okay so that's another important point let's do this drill for another few times and before we go to the next progression so number four this time we'll climb up as possible and once we reach at a point where you feel comfortable we will not come down immediately we have to build on our strength so that our joints become more strong and able to withstand the pressure reverse way for a longer period of time okay so in this drill our whole focus is to focus on your shoulder locking cyst position and locking the core we will climb up go to a certain point where you feel comfortable and then you lock in there and stay in place for at least 10 to 15 seconds let's see how far can i go and then i lock it as much as i can and do this at least three to four times so that you over time build that strength otherwise if you keep climbing up and down 
you'd never be able to uh, develop that amount of strength that you need to do a proper wall walk okay <laughs> You see how much strength you need to put on your shoulder and your core because the moment you put pressure on your back you will start to lose your energy and feel more exhausted so again two things core lock and shoulder lock okay no other body part should be engaged in it and make sure you do not engage your lower back all right otherwise you will start to uh, get exhausted and stressed because your lower back will start to pain. So that was our fourth. Now our fifth position, the final one, will climb up as much as possible and try to kiss the wall. Okay, so that's going to be challenging. The day we are able to do it properly and climb down, you mustered wall walks. All right. Uh, I will show, I'll try my best to show if I if you can see when I kiss the wall because I have to make sure my body is in a full straight line. That's the whole idea. Um, you, do, uh, you can start with, it, to get st try to increase the inclination level slowly and steadily, maybe 45, 70, and then finally, what do you call it? 90 degree. So our, our goal is to reach 90 degree angle. So this time I'll do 90 degree angle and kiss the wall. All right, first I'll show you like this and then I'll change the camera angle if I can show you. That was my case. So these are the five things that you, you should do to learn wall walks. Very simple exercise, but looks challenging because you have to get strong, all right? So you know to get strong, it doesn't mean that sometime you have to be muscular, uh, physically strong, even mentally strong uh, strength is required because if you are doing it for the first time, uh, to be in a position like this, it uh, you'll get really scared because you're totally on a different situation. We always walk up. You can relate if you know handstand or if you're trying to learn handstand, how weird does it feel? So keep practicing it. Start with a low progression, um, 10, 20 degree, 30 degree increase slowly and keep on holding whatever angle you are at. Let's say if you're at 45 degree, so hold it and do it four to five times. So overall, you'll see 100% over a few days, you automatically feel more strong in your core and your shoulder. And then you can slowly and steadily go closer, closer, closer. And there'll be a, a point when you'd be standing upright, uh, parallel to the wall, okay? So that's great. So meanwhile, if you're, if you're still not strong with your core and shoulders, you can implement these two exercises really good and really simple. The first one is, as I have told you at the start, you start in a plank position, you know, plank hold, right? So you can do plank hold, simple exercise, no fancy uh, equipment required. You stand in a simple position. So you can do this. Don't make sure to don't arch your back like this, like this. And your and stand on your toes if possible. You can do this. You can also do this plank if you're not strong. Once you get strength, you can go like this. If you wanna challenge more, do it one leg. So this is one exercise you can do to increase the strength on your core. And the second one you can do is hollow hold. I prefer more then plank because course goes on fire you have to put pressure of your lower back on the ground you put more pressure so that your body goes up like this like this if you find it difficult with the leg you can do like this as well again you would not create an arch then there's no point you have to put pressure the whole lower back on the ground below and your body 
fully automatically create this position. Woo. That's how you can start training on your wall walks. If you find this video helpful, make sure to share, like, and subscribe. This is Mr. Rachel Banana. Thanks for joining the video. See you again.